Game two of the Stanley Cup final is tonight. The Blues will try to rebound from a game one loss. But history isn't on our side. Frank Cusimano is live inside the TD Garden in Boston. Frank? Kay and Mike, good to be with you and welcome to Boston. Well, it's a night where one streak is going to come to a close. Boston has won eight consecutive postseason games. That's incredible. And the Blues have lost 13 consecutive Stanley Cup final games. That's incredible. And that's a streak that dates back 52 years. The Blues have made a change in their lineup tonight. Robbie Fabry is in. He replaces the injured Robert Thomas. Fabry hasn't played a game in 28 days. He's had a difficult season, but keep in mind, he's a former first-round draft choice with some real skill. Fabry scored 18 goals as a 20-year-old three years ago. Well, it gives you a real healthy body right now, and it's been quite clear that Robert Thomas has been gutting this out, uh, but not skating every day, not handling the puck, and then trying to play at this level, um, really difficult task. So I know it had to be a tough decision, uh, but Robbie Fabry adds tenacity, competitiveness, um, good hands, he's got good hockey sense, much like Robert Thomas. Um, and, and I think you're going to see a little bit of fire in there too. We've never seen Robbie Fabry back down. He's always been good when the pressure's on him. Uh, his track record says that. So I'm looking forward to seeing Robbie Fabry here in game two. Coach Berube did say that Robert Thomas is not injured because of that violent collision with Tory Krug, but that had to exacerbate the situation. He's been out for like a couple of weeks, just really banged up, hasn't practiced. So maybe Fabry, who hasn't played in 26 days, will provide some young, fresh, healthy legs for the Blues tonight. With photographer Rick Meyer, I'm Frank Cusimano. Let's send it back to the studio. All right.